Okay, today I want to talk about Fusion 360. If you have a CNC plasma cutter, I'm sure you've used this for 2D profiling. And there's a couple of things that make it a little bit tricky, so I'm going to try to help you with a couple of tips. Tip one. One of the first things you'll probably run into is broken lines. When you get a DXF file from someone, or especially if you use exploded text, yeah, that, that is your writing text, and then to get the text to cut, you have to actually explode it by right-clicking and doing explode text. But that text ends up sometimes not being a full line. The easiest way to do that is to start with one of these line segments, and we all know about clicking the arrow to reverse the direction, but if you actually click the line segment itself, it brings up this menu. And when this menu is open, hovering over the other lines actually adds to the original line. And then you click plus to accept, X to get out of this menu, or the trash can to obviously delete the line. Tip two. Next thing you'll start to notice is that nine times out of 10, when you have a line that's not cooperating like this, it's because you actually have a very small part of the line that's either broken or is added to the box, so it's confusing the computer. So if you zoom in really close here, you'll see this this closed segment actually has this little tab here. So once we go back into the design menu, get rid of that little line segment, and now when we go back into manufacture, this path should automatically render on its own. First try. Later he gets the rebound, passes it to the man, shoots it, and boom goes the dynamite. Okay, great. Thanks a lot for that look in the sports, Brian. Yeah. And so here's another example. This profile line's not cooperating. It's broken in half. But uh, if you actually go to where one of the brakes is and you zoom in really closely, you can see there's actually like a double line here, two lines that are kind of next to each other. They can even be overlapped too. So uh, make sure you check the point at which your lines are starting to break apart for any imperfections in the profile. Tip three. So the next thing I've noticed on Fusion 360 is the uh, exclamation point in the triangle box next to your profile. Now this is letting you know that there's some part of the file that has been cut out. So if you look really closely at your toolpath, you'll probably notice somewhere along it there's a small segment that either it's either a line they didn't do because uh, the the path constraints are too close, the so lines are too close together, so it's omitting a line or a part that's too small for the machine to do, um, or it can even just be a point that's too pointy, so the tool path would kind of shortcut that point, and even that little point, it'll put a exclamation point letting you know that there's a part that's omitted, and that's even that little point can set that off. So just overlook all your tool paths, and find the point that's omitted, see if that's even a problem. It's not even always a problem. I totally run my files with these. If I can see the part that it's omitting and the line's just a part of the drawing or something, that doesn't really lose anything when the, that's missing that line, and I'll just go ahead and run these anyways. The uh, exclamation point in the red circle, that usually means that there's an issue with the file, so that means you moved something in your file, um, and Say you change the diameter of one of your holes and then you go back into there well it's noticing that the actual file that you're looking at on the screen and the tool path is different so in that case you can actually get away with uh, right clicking it and editing its tool and a lot of the time it'll just ask you whether you want to update the tool paths you select yes and then you reprocess it and uh, and then your your tool paths have been updated tip four the last issue i ran into recently and kind of gave me a little bit of panic was i started having a uh error setting here and this error setting is in um, fire control which is the program I use to run my CNC plasma cutter from Langmuir and a lot of uh, research I was finding that this was likely due to a post processing issue but they weren't really making it that clear they were just saying it was an issue in post so what I realized is slowly going through in my post, po post processing menu these boxes here had become checked you want to make sure these are not checked if you just have a two-axis, two-dimensional CNC plasma cutter like I do. So hopefully these are some of the problems you've run into and have helped you. If I did, make sure you let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Check out some of my other CNC plasma videos. I'll catch you guys next time.